Guys, if you are a telescope enthusiast, run for the hills, run far, far away. We are absolute noobs. We are probably doing unspeakable things to this telescope. Please ignore all of the noise in the background. I probably make more noise than every other neighbor combined, so I can't say anything. Just got a deal. For the Beavis' birthday, we ended up getting him this. This is a telescope. It's a beginner's telescope. It was affordable. Now, let me just go ahead. It's hard to show you in this camera. Please disregard the DeWalt clamps. I might have gotten a little overzealous and started before shooting. I might have harvested a piece or two off of this. Don't judge me. Now, this is the Skyscanner 100. We don't know anything about telescopes. We know that we're having an absolute blast. You can see in there. I think it's called a refractor your telescope. Let me just take this moment to say, guys, if you are a telescope enthusiast, run for the hills, run far, far away. We are absolute noobs. You're probably doing unspeakable things to this telescope. Sorry in advance. This entire thing, which is kind of balanced perfectly, like immediately within five minutes, the bees was like, can we attach a camera to it? It started pitching in directions that we could not help. Some vibration happened. Basically, we outgrew this mount right here for like within a day. You're probably thinking like, bro, you've already outgrown this beginner's telescope. Why don't you just sell it and get a nice one, but that's just a silly fun, man. I'd rather, we, we're tinkerers, dude. I feel like step one should be, I gotta grab this thing somehow. So I did see a couple of these DIY designs and it seems like all of them sort of like make a box, which they then attach to dowels on the sides. All right, so now how do I pretend like I just built this thing? <laughs> Okay, guys, look, I may or may not have already built this thing. Okay, some of this stuff I'm filming backwards. Don't judge me, but look at it, dude. I mean, it's a little rough. This phone BBC is really hard to cut. I need to sand it down. Sometimes when you want to modify the weight of a pull cue, they make these things. They're called weight bolts. They look like this, varying sizes, but ultimately they're all this. And basically you just shove it to the bottom of a pull cue, then tighten it up. But it turns out that this bolt of which I have millions in the garage. It's kind of a perfect fit. I mean, it's a perfect fit for, for this thing, so we're gonna use it. So I ended up needing four discs, and uh, I had no other way to make them, especially make them all concentric to one another, so I ended up spinning them together on the lathe. It went pretty good. <laughs> so satisfying. Nice and clean. Oh, dude, I also forgot about this on my uh, Pulky ZNC. This fits the, the contour of the, the telescope, and they are going to attach to the handle, the purple heart handle, like so. And then that way, when I screw and apply pressure, it'll tighten it against the telescope. Yo, look at this thing. Okay, yeah, I meant to do that. That was planned. This thing is gonna work. Cutting this foamed BBC stuff is a nightmare. When it gets too hot, it melts and binds. A lot of times with pull cues, you have to make jigs for random things. Like this guy, for instance. And what I like to use, hello, focus. Okay, yep, that's the background. There we go. Nope, it's a plastic or something. It's called um, Acetyl or Delrin, I think might be the brand name. It weighs a ton, it's rock solid. But the weird thing is, is it's super slippery. Like it's super slippery. So I'm gonna use this. So the thing that we just made that sits around the telescope, the idea is it's going to sit here. And this is that Delrin that I just showed you. It's really slippery. Minimal friction, I think. Now it's time for a quick lunch break. We're gonna play some Street Fighter and watch some, uh, what is this, Despicable Me? Yeah. Nice. This is really good coffee. So if the two foamed PVC pieces are this, we still need some two pieces to go like this, right? If it's a box. Now for that, I found some old scrap, AKA it's like a really old tabletop that we have. Now this was so much fun to do on the scroll saw. And I actually got it pretty clean this time. I found this Instructables link online for a much bigger telescope. Out of his design, I loved this. So I totally stole it. So if that is the front, then this piece would be the back or vice versa. Dude, what kind of wood is this? I feel like it's some weird like Malaysian wood or Asian wood that they just don't have in the States because it, it smells different. It's much lighter than you would think. It came from a world market table and I'm pretty sure that they are built overseas. And all of this eventually sits on this like lazy Susan type thing. All of the mounts that I've seen have something similar, which is like that rotational thing. Dude, is this gonna be strong enough? I can bend it. I can't be good. Too late now. <laughs> oh guys, I just noticed. Who's in her castle? Me, me. Are you going to space, girl? You look cool, man. 
I love your castle, girl. So remember, this is the original one that it came with. Yeah, dude, all of the things that I've seen online, including this Instructables that I've been loosely copying, is the same thing. It's a Lazy Susan. It's this thing. It's a circle on top of a UFO-shaped piece. Easy enough. By the way, guys, I spent like hours and hours the other day cleaning my car, but I didn't move it from the desk collector. <laughs> so that was yeah, time well spent. Yep. Y'all, my router is wicked loud. I'm just gonna do this offline, but shout out to, who makes this? Miles Craft. I love this thing, dude. It's so well made. One, two, three. Oh, wow, wow, that's actually, Okay. Way more miles than I was expecting. For reduced friction, I added uh, more Delrin right here. And I totally stole these off the original. Dude, they're perfect. Also, I just now realized I don't think I ever lined up the holes. <laughs> just kind of went for it. Looks pretty good. Good enough. Man, over the years, I have accrued all these random handles. Look at these. This is perfect. I'm definitely in need of one while Strider talks while I shoot. Thanks, Beth. Appreciate you. Yeah. You want to back it up? Yo! Yeah, dude. This is different. Oh, this is very satisfying. Guys, I just need to dedicate an episode where I make like a gigantic fidget spinner. Like a fidget spinner that's like two feet in diameter. Steve's just watching TV and I see his head go. Hmm? The Delrin things are not adding as much like lubricant or whatever as I would have liked. Now, in theory, we can modify the tightness, right? If we, like for example, this is way, way too tight. I can ease it up. The size is good. Now we just start attaching stuff, I guess. excited to see if like just modding this cheap telescope with items found around our house, if there will be like a sizable improvement or not. Mm. <sighs> yeah, that's not great. That's not super, super great. We gotta support this. Like, yeah. Yep, I think these two um, pieces of hard rock maple are gonna do the trick. Let's see. <sighs> All right, shake test. Wow. Yep, slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh dude, yep, yep. I can already tell. Yeah, so it's very forward heavy right now. So the question is, do I balance it? Or do I just tighten these guys up? Pro, this is amazing. I love you, Neil. So is a way to adjust the elevation instead of actually relying on balancing it. Uh, we've been playing with a lot of gears lately and I think that it would be really, really cool to implement that. Yeah, let's give this a shot, dude. This is gonna be amazing. I ended up using this old scrap piece of Purple Heart and then just tapped it to the right size. Dude, it's awesome. Dude, this might actually this might actually work in there. And this would theoretically go on to tighten it. Oh, dude, it's almost there. It's a little too sensitive. I was trying to make the, the crank less sensitive, meaning I would have to rotate it several times for this just to go. So I thought that I would just make a gigantic gear. Let me show you. I ended up going down this like rabbit hole with like gear knowledge, reading all about them. and. Things out there weirdly complicated. Look at this thing. I was too impatient to wait for the 3D printer to work because like even these four small gears, it's gonna be another 12, 15 hours. So what I did was I just made this one a glue up uh, with my CNC. Dude, <laughs> it's actually quite beautiful. Like, well, look at this. I think that these are just various pieces of uh, scrap. It looks like some oak, maybe some pine. Yeah, awesome. So I figured if I threw this in there into the mix, it would increase the, the gear ratio or whatever, but it wasn't quite enough. I don't know how to increase it apart from making a gear that's like, I don't know, four feet wide, which would be amazing, but yeah. Honestly, man, even if this doesn't work as effectively and elegantly as I thought it would be, it just looks cool. Man, I love this massive gear, but yeah, I mean, it works. It's just, it's not reduced to the amount that I was hoping for. But check this out. I mean, it definitely increases the gear ratio. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool, right, babe? Yeah. Look at that. I mean, it increases a little bit, but not to the, the extent that I was hoping for. <laughs> but amazing. still, this is amazing. And also, it enables me to tighten it uh, so it doesn't go <laughs> over time. Man, even with me jiggling it, this is crazy. Look how solid it is. Oh my gosh! Bro, what? It's just night and day difference. Like, it's just incredibly rock solid. I am so stoked on this. So we completed this, I don't know, a week or so ago. 
And we have not had very many opportunities to test it. There was one night where we took it out and it was amazing. But after that, pretty much every night has been cloudy. But that one night, I mean, it was clear as day, dude. It is so much more rock solid. It's more fun to use. This thing is rock solid. I had like a million different ways to tighten it loosen it, there's one right there, there's one right there. Before we did this upgrade, adding this Barlow to it made it basically unusable. It was just too vibrating and it would droop. Um, now it's rock solid. It doesn't even matter how much we increase the magnification. It's amazing. So yeah, if you're into telescopes and you wanna grab this scope, I would highly recommend upgrading the mount. Okay, guys, I'm so distracted. Guys, I'm trying to shoot, okay? Like, Marshy really wants to come in. Mew Mew probably wants to come out. But in the meantime, they just, okay, they just war. Guys, y'all are sisters. They're literally sisters, by the way. They have no idea. Look at her. <sighs> Marshy, Mew Mew. I feel like there's gonna be a part two of this soon because we're not done adding stuff. And also I really wanna show you guys some footage, some before footage, some after footage, because it's just so amazingly better. But yeah, we need the weather gods to cooperate. Yep, come on guys. All right guys, we're out. Hope you enjoyed it.